the Hot Wheels Epic Track Pack. It's so epic, I have to stand five feet away just to get the whole box on the screen. If you thought the other Hot Wheels big box track sets were epic, they're nothing in size compared to the Epic Track Pack. Mega Loop Mayhem. You might be mega, but you're not epic. Epic. Okay, that's enough. Epic Track Pack. It was a 2013 holiday offering. It was available on uh, Walmart online. I don't know if it was in the stores. $80 track set, but it has 35 feet of track. Four boosters, one jump, two loops, 10 of these risers, 16 uh, pieces to make curves, 30 track connectors, and one of these corner supports. The reason why I love this set is because it's basically a starter set. Well, really, it's an epic starter set. You have all the pieces. You can make your own custom layouts. It says, you know, what will you build? You can make your layout however you want. All around the bedroom, down the hall, down to the living room, through the kitchen, except during dinner time. It also came with 10 cars. Here's a look at the 10 different models. Some of these we already know. Excellent track cars. We might have seen a uh, former Accelerators model in there. I'm sure you guys know. Unfortunately, uh, Twin Mill 3 uh, not included. Because it's a bunch of track pieces, like I said, you can make your own layouts. There's a suggestion, and then they have a few more suggestions on the bottom. I have limited space on my table, so I'm going to make a layout. I actually already used the track set for my C-Case track time video, and I had a blast. You already seen the box was open. I couldn't wait. Maybe you bought track sets before and the track pieces are this long. Maybe you got them in there this long. But because the box is so big, they were able to include some of the longest track pieces ever. Look how long that is. And by the way, that light orange one, that's an original red line orange track from the late 60s, early 70s. That's the size that they were in the past, and the Epic Track Pack has track pieces that are even longer than those. Even though it's epic, I would have wished they included a landing piece to go along with the jump. You get a lot of connectors. 30, you know how you lose those things? 30 connectors. And by the way, these are the kind that have the uh, little uh, holes. All the track pieces have these holes here so that your track uh, is le less likely to get pulled apart while you're playing with it. The other thing to note, only one corner support. You have all these curved pieces and only one of these. Come on, it's a little piece of plastic. Put uh, two, three, or four in there. Come on now. They do have instructions to give you tips on how to do your layout. They also have uh, some other setups if you'd uh, like some suggestions. Let me highlight a couple tips real quick. Now, uh, your, your track's going to be moving around because the cars have a lot of force. So for like your uh, loops and this little stand right here, if you have like a book or maybe a little weight and you can hold it down, they say to tape it, but I don't think mom and dad are going to want you to be taping things to the floor. So you get this and it gives it more uh, stability or, or a book. I like to use these weights because, uh, well, we don't use the weights anymore anyways. Quit laughing. Put this right here. It'll, it'll help uh, solidify. My other tip is that when, you, uh, when you're doing your races, I talk about pinching and flaring. So here's your connectors. Here's your little connectors. Got them right there. If you have some old connectors, they'll work just fine too. Now, uh, pinching and flaring. If your car is going to be going this way, you want to pinch your track on this side so that this way your, your car clears this other edge over here. Pinch this side, flare the outside. So this way when your car goes through, it doesn't clip an edge. If it starts clipping an edge, see like right here, you can see an edge right here. Then see that's going to start causing your cars to uh, crash. So remember, Pinch on the side you're coming from, and flare the other side. Another special note, you're going to have four pieces of track that have short sidewalls. See how this is short, and this is taller? The shorter ones are for the loop. That's what you put together to make your loop. Use the shorter sidewalls for your loops. 
With my table area here, I made this custom layout. I used every single piece of track. I used everything except for the extra connectors. We're going to see which of the 10 models can make it all the way from start to finish. Battlespec. Yes, all the way. CCM Country Club Muscle. Oh, what happened? Let's give him another shot. Is the track a little wobbly over there? Oh, wipe out. He's a metal body. He has a metal body, so he, he might be a little top heavy going around the curves. Here we go, side draft. Oh, bummer, dude. Power piston. The governor. See you later. Nerve hammer. Last but not least. Formula Street. Point. Oh, the check in part. Hang on. Okay, Formula Street, let's do it. Oh, -ho, up on the track. We can get side draft to make it all the way. Oh, he didn't make it over the booster, but he made it all the way. Let me change my layout. I'll be right back. All right, I changed it to where it's a continuous loop now to circuit track. I took off a couple pieces so that this booster goes right into the first booster that I started the track with. Let's go, let's get, let's see how many cars we can get going on the track. Seven. Oh, see you later, came out. Oh, we have a file of 
There you go. Epic track pack. I love it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.